Panic buying, is it a good thing or a bad thing? What do you guys think? Why is it you don't want to panic buy? In this video here, I'm going to talk to you why you never have to panic buy again if you follow these few steps. Okay, one reason you don't want to panic buy is you don't want to be part of the chaos. Okay, you don't want to be put in that situation. And more than likely, you're not going to get what you want anyways because it's not going to be there because everybody else is panic buying and the shelves are empty. Look what's going on all around the country right now because of this big, huge snowstorm that's coming across from the West Coast all the way deep, dipping down to the South and then shooting up the East Coast. So everywhere along this path, everybody has ransacked the grocery stores. They're empty, all right? It's all over social media. You don't even have to put the TV on, okay? Just go on social media. It's all right there for you in black and white. People are taking pictures and videos and everything else, and you're seeing firsthand of what's taking place. And if you actually read their little comments and stuff that they put on their little captions that they have, they'll probably tell you where they're at or where they're from or what town it's in and what store it might be. So the whole reason why you don't want to be part of this whole panic buying situation is it's not good for the soul, folks, okay? It's going to make you very depressed when you walk into that store and you take a look around and there is nothing left. I remember March of 2020 when the whole Charlie Victor 19 came to town, all right? Now, I didn't have to go to the store. I didn't really need to get anything. I went to the store because I wanted to witness firsthand of what was taking place and how people were reacting. And it was totally amazing how people were just like animals in the stores. You don't want to be a part of that. And there are some few simple tips that I'm going to give you that are going to get you out of that situation and keep you away from panic buying. Number one, you have to have a plan. You have to make a plan. You have to make out either recipes or know what you need, what products you need to make the foods that you and your family like to eat. Number two, you have to execute your plan. So you have to make sure that you have all your different ingredients on hand. You have to be prepared. You buy it beforehand, before the panic buying starts. It's a process that is only considered as common sense buying. Okay? You're not going to go in there and buy a bunch of stuff that you're not going to want to eat or nobody is going to eat. That's why you prepare beforehand so you're purchasing products and goods and all those different types of supplies that you need on a daily basis, that you need to survive, that you and your family will use, eat, and everything else, and you'll survive. You stay out of the panic buying situation. Number three, always watch for your sales. Your sales are a great way to build your preps and keep you out of panic buying because you've already put up enough food to get you through the storm. Understand? Now, another great thing that you can do is you always want to make sure that you're watching out for your buy one, get ones. Those are the easiest way for you to increase your preps and increase your awareness and increase your whole stability of your food storage. It's very simple. You buy one, you get one. One goes into your working pantry, the other one goes into your food storage for a later date. You see, there's a lot of things that you can do that are very simple to make sure that you and your family stay, well, secure, safe, fed, closed, and everything else in a time of drastic devastating times we live in right now. There's so many different scenarios that are going on right now that the whole panic buying thing just keeps coming back around. All it takes, folks, is for one little thing to go wrong in the whole realm of how things are supposed to be. One little stone that something stumbles over 
and the next thing you know people go crazy so in order for you to not be part of the panic buying and never panic buy again is to follow those few steps that I had talked about this way here it will secure your future it will secure you and your mindset and you won't be so overwhelmed you won't be so devastated you won't feel lost or not knowing what to do because now you can't get those goods you see it's a whole process it's a very simple process to follow you can go back through my videos and you can watch a lot of different videos and I show you how to get prepared I show you things that you need to be prepared on um, how to go about buying things things that you want to go to stock up on maybe some tips and tricks along the way to help you succeed in getting the products you need at a really good price and ways to do it just go back through and watch some of my videos folks it's all right there and well in color nowadays because you know, we all shoot in color, not black and white. Although black and white is really nice. But the moral of this story is don't put yourself in a position. Make sure you never have to panic buy again. And this way here, you will be prepared. If you've had to be in that scenario, it should be a very easy eye opener and a very easy fix to make sure that you can succeed in being prepped and ready to weather the storm and keep your mind on an even keel. So until next time folks, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Thank you for all that you do for my channel, the likes, subscribes, the shares, everything else. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate everything that everyone has done over the years. And I just want everybody to be safe, prepped, and ready to go. And until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.